my name is Cash and welcome to Cashed Out Cars. In today's video, we are taking a look at a super special car and we have a very special guest on the channel. So she's gonna introduce herself, we're gonna walk around the car and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Natalie, Cash's friend, and this is my 2014 Cadillac CTSB. So obviously you really like cars and are into cars. How did that start up? Um, my brother joined the Yukon Formula Safety team. <laughs> Um, I followed in footsteps at Ohio State, was on their team for a few years, went to UConn, met Cash at UConn, and we're, we're starting. Awesome. Yeah, I was curious if you were into cars before the whole formula thing, or if that's what started it. Formula. Nice. It was only because I wanted to compete against my brother. So, what made you pick this as the car for you to, to pick up, because it is an awesome one. Um, I wanted a 2009 regular CTS for the longest time. Uh, and a couple years ago I worked at Bosch Motorsport. They had one of these in their garage. And basically ever since then I've wanted one. Um, but figured that they would be impossible to find. Um, I specifically wanted a 2014 uh, manual transmission in black. And they actually made about 36 of those. So I figured I would have to do a one-way flight somewhere, drive it back home. Um, kind of wanted to pay off a couple other things before I picked one up, but I looked one day and there was one about an hour and a half from my house. And a few days later, it was in the garage. <laughs> so how awesome is the car now that you actually have it? So basically, like you just said, since I've known you, this has pretty much yeah. been the dream. And oh, yeah. do, does it live up to the expectations? It lives up to the expectations. Um, I always wondered who needed that much power to drive, um, especially to work. But now that I've had it for a while, I'm actually starting to consider putting a tune on it. Um, any other car I drive seems slow now, but on the highway it is really, really nice. So what does this make for power since people are probably wondering, I mean, it's not a super flashy car, but we know it's super fast, so what does it make for power? Wheel horsepower out of the factory is 556. Nice. So, yeah, it, it's a fast car. It'll smoke everything that I've driven except for um, the one GTR that I did feature on the channel, but this looks a lot classier doing it, so. That, that's pretty sweet. So I know you've had some other really cool cars that I also really <laughs> like. Um, how does this thing compare to uh, the red Miata that you used to have? 1997 stock Miata? Yep. A little bit faster. Little a little bit. A little heavier. W which one do you enjoy more? Um, you know, the Miata is always going to have like a special place in my heart, but yeah. I will always have this car. Yeah. Yeah, th this is awesome. I mean, you see Miatas every day. You do not see these every day. So, so this is a much more special car than that. All right, so I am in the driver's seat of the CTS-V now. Natalie is nice enough to let me take the thing for a quick cruise here. Um, I'm not gonna do anything crazy with it. <laughs> the rear wheel drive, right? It's not all wheel yeah, drive or anything. Is. So um, compared to the GTR, I mean, this has basically the horsepower of a GTR other than it's rear wheel drive. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy, but we are gonna take it for a drive back to my house and I'm just gonna enjoy it. So let's do it. You know how to drive stick, right? I do know how to drive <laughs> stick. It does have a great tone. It's not loud, but it does so have a really nice bassy, tone. so like... Does it have an e-breaker? Yeah, it's electronic. Oh, okay. The clutch is not super heavy for being such a uh, fast car. I know. Look at this quality. Yeah. It's just high quality. Which one's Apple one? I, I still think it's pretty Learning. nice. There we go, there's nothing. Oh. Look at that quality! Oh yeah. Terrible. I don't know, I still think it's nice. The first Cadillac I've driven. Yeah? Yeah. You feel heavy, right? It does oh. feel a little heavy. Yeah. It actually, so far, first driving impressions, it sounds kind of weird, but the only other car that I've driven that this reminds me of is my friend's M3. Okay. Um, it, ju it just feels like a really solid car, like which you is could how take the M3 it feels. You could, you could go. That was like... No, you're not even driving. Barely throttle. I know. Oh yeah, this, <laughs> this is fast. <laughs> The, the day we brought it home, this is very fast. I accidentally like kicked Ben back in his seat <laughs> on the highway. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is awesome. It's such like linear power too with the supercharger. It's not like you have to wait for boost or anything. It's just yeah, all torque all the time. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. 
But you know what's disappointing about it? What? On like a highway on ramp, you get up to speed too quick. Yeah. And your fun is yeah. gone. <laughs> I mean, as you know, with the Miata, that was part of the fun for me. You yes. just you could drive it full throttle all the time. <laughs> This yeah. I can't do that anymore, no. otherwise we'll be in trouble. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, highway ramps are kind of like, it's like you get a three seconds of thrill and then you're at 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah, this is an awesome car. Yeah. And it rides so smooth in here too. And it's quiet. And it is so quiet. It, it's It's nice. a family sedan. Yeah. 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 You, you, I can see how you daily drive this because yeah. it, it's awesome. Yep. The only time I don't drive it is when the roads are salty. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, that, that's the best thing to do with a car like this. You have yep. your, your new Subaru for that. I so. have the new Subaru. Yeah, it does actually very much remind me of the M3 with how it drives down the road. I'm, I'm not going to push this like I pushed the yeah. M3, but... It's supposed to be an M5 competitor on the okay. actual track, so... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. And the, the, the quality is, is great. Like yeah. com compared to a Miata, it just feels like such a solid car. It's crazy. Yeah. And compared to the Passat, which I mean, it's not a Cadillac, but it's a more luxury style sedan and this just yeah. feels so much nicer. So it has um like surround sound bow speakers too. Nice. So um I don't think it was this car actually. I think it was my Miata. It came with a um Wu Tang Clan CD in it, oh, nice. which was just very appropriate. <laughs> yeah, and I actually think it might be in this car. I'm not, I think Ben put it in this car. Um, you jammed to that. Really? I jammed to that nice. every time I drive. What else can you listen to? Exactly. In a yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. This, this is super nice. It's interesting. The seats. Uh, it, it's funny with like American cars. They make the seats with the bolsters way farther out for big people, <laughs> and then there's people like us who just park big. Yep. So, the, so the seats don't like really hug you that much but yeah i mean it's super comfortable um the back like when you could buy these new you did have an option to get recaros okay um they're very expensive now yeah so maybe one day i would put a driver's seat recaro in yeah. in the future but yeah no this is this yeah. is very nice yeah and seriously thanks for letting me drive this <laughs> it's fun <laughs> Oh wow, the brakes on this are great. Oh, we huh? just changed them, that's why. You okay. should have felt them before. Really? They weren't that great before. Yeah, it, it was a, um, I thought it'd be like an hour brake job. Yeah. It was like four hour brake job. Man. Yep, it was pretty bad. It, um, they were like, the rotors were just stuck, yeah. completely stuck on. Um, so those got changed and then it felt great. And it was fun doing like breaking in. Yeah, I bet. Oh, it was yeah, fun. that's a super fun process. Yeah. Yeah, with, with this, this is like definitely the best feeling brakes I've felt because yeah. I'm like not even pressing the pedal hard and it just it just wants to stop. So yeah. That's amazing. I don't really want to find out what like the stopping distance is, but you know. Short. Yeah. Definitely short. Yeah. And the pedal feel is just great too. Yeah. So. Awesome. I'm very happy with it. I would love to drive this like literally back to back with the M3 because mm. to me it feels so similar. Yeah, I um have this, this like pipe dream of putting it on like an airport yeah um, runway. That's my pipe dream. That, going straight. That would be yeah. awesome. And yeah, so I've been like toying with the idea of taking it to track night. Um, I definitely want to, but I think I should go to track night in something like um like my brother's RX-7 or like Ben's yeah. Volkswagen first, so that I have a feel for like a car that I can't you know just fishtail into a wall. Right. Um, before I I bring this and just don't know how to like handle the power on a track. So. Yeah, th th this would be a, a crazy car to, to start out with because it's yeah, fast. Yeah, I don't, like that's probably not a good idea at all. Yeah. Have you ever seen one at a track yes. event? Yes, okay. actually I did. Okay. Um, the, the first CTSV I've ever seen in person and it's actually, it's like one of those memories that will always stick in my head. Yeah. Is at Lime Rock there was a uh, um, red CTSV coupe and down the straightaway the supercharger noise was so loud. Oh, I don't yeah. know if they had like aftermarket pulleys or Definitely. something like that. But it was just like the most memorable car of the day and it, yeah. it was something like this that's yeah. like a subtle car but it was just so awesome to me. Because they just didn't, make, they made a lot of automatics but they did not make many manuals. Yeah. So. Yeah that, that's really great that you found this because it's, it's way more fun like this. I know. Yeah, yeah it, it's cool to have something special like this. Yeah. That's why I always say in YouTube comments, people are like, uh, what what does the 944 do better than the Miata? Yeah. And my answer is not that much other than storage space, and mm -hmm. it's just a way cooler, more rare car. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, that's a big one. Th this though, I mean, this does everything great and it's a cool rare car, so. I know. Also, guess no offense to the 944, I love that car, but you know I'm partial to be honest, so. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, this was absolutely awesome. All right, so that wraps up my drive in the CTSV. This was an absolutely awesome car and I had a great time today. Thank you, Natalie, for bringing this car out. You truly have an awesome <laughs> car. Um, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you liked this style video, let me know down below and leave a like on this. Subscribe for more and I hope you stick around for the next one. Take care.